Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to continue on with the nice question series in the extension two syllabus. Today's question comes from the uh, complex numbers topic um, from a manly 2000, uh, from the manly 2022 uh, trial paper. Now, this question has been recycled so many times across so many years. It's a nice question um, relating to roots with complex. So let's, I thought I'd show it to you because of the frequency I've seen it in multiple past papers, it's actually not that obvious at times to get through it. But at the same time, when you see me do it, hopefully it's not too bad as well. So before I dive in guys, as always, if you uh, haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and tell your friends. All right, let's dive in. So from Manly 2022, we have this question. Let's take it apart. So part one, show that that is equal to that, okay. Yeah, not too bad there. And cos theta doesn't make zero because then the denominator would explode. And then hence show that if Z is purely imaginary. Okay, cool. Z is purely imaginary. Okay. See if I can use that somehow. All right. Then show that the roots of that are that. Okay, okay. All right. Let's get started then, shall we? So Jumping right in for part one. All right, show that. So that's the left hand side, right? One plus I ten N one minus I. Now the giveaway for the start how to start this question is the fact that on the left hand side we have tens and on the right hand side we have causes, right? So it sort of makes a lot of sense for you to sub in the identity that tan equals a sign and cause, right? Makes a lot of sense. So Absolutely clear that these guys here, let's replace both of these with tan theta equals to sine and cos. Makes a lot of sense, right? So, with that in mind, so one plus i sine theta on cos, one minus i sine theta on cos. Now, I suspect common uh, denominator within each bracket. What does that get me? So cos theta there. So cos theta plus I sine theta n plus cos theta minus I sine theta cos n. Now, quick look at what I have to prove. Two cos, okay, perfect. Now, off to the side, hopefully you guys are comfortable that, you know, when I have cos theta plus I sine. Yep. Power of N, obviously that is like um, cis. Right? Now let me see, actually. Let me make sure, yep. Okay, using de Moivre there, so that's cis n theta. Yeah, but also, don't need these square brackets, I just want to show you something. Um, but also, when that's a minus. Now, I wonder if you guys are okay with the intu intuitive sort of leap to go, that's cos, also cis minus n theta. Right, because technically speaking, right, if you really wanted to unpick this, um, that's the same as cos negative theta plus I sine negative theta, right? In terms of algebra, right? Because cos of negative theta is cos theta. Sine of negative theta is negative sine theta, right? So that's the same thing. So I guess what I'm trying to say, these guys are the same. So when I do this, yep. When I, firstly, common denominator, everything over cos n theta. And on top, I'm going to go cos n theta plus i sine n theta using Tim Love plus cos negative n theta plus i sine negative n theta. Yep. And then I know that, right? Just to reverse that sort of negative operation there. For these two, that, that there is equal to cos n theta. 
this guy's equal to negative sine m theta, which means that this cancels out with this, and I get equal to 2 cos n theta on cos n theta, which is the right hand side, I believe. So, quick look. Perfect. So, guys, part one done like that. Now, part two. Let's have a quick look. If 1 plus z, right, 1 plus z4 plus 1 minus z4. Now, where does z come from? It looks very similar to part one, right? The only difference is z is, so i tan is replaced with z. So maybe that's the substitution. I'll go let z equal to i tan and see if I can go from there, right? So if z equals i tan, um, now let me think. So z equals i tan. How do I use the notion that it's purely imaginary? If z equals i tan, maybe I will. Um, well, then I use part one. So then that boils down to 2n theta cos. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I don't actually need that purely imaginary part. That's all. Purely imaginary. Oh, no. Maybe I can do it. It's purely imaginary. Okay. No, no. I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Okay. Let's proceed. So, part two. So just to be absolutely clear, so the purely imaginary part sort of threw me off, but I think when you get the answer, it's purely imaginary. Like it's actually, it doesn't add anything to the steps that you have to do, right? So what I was saying is you should be able to realize that that Z there and this Z here is going to be replaced with I10, right? So if I said, let Z equal to I10, right? Which sort of makes it purely imaginary, right? That's how I'm going to kickstart this process. So let z equal to i10, right? Now, when that happens, I'm going to sub i10 into the equation. Therefore, right, 1 plus i10 to the power of 4 plus 1 minus i10 to the power of 4 equals 0. And then using part 1, right? Using part 1, I'm going to replace, therefore, replace the n with 4. Right? Maybe I'll highlight that here. So n with 4. Actually, that's all I replace, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's n. So then I go, therefore, 2 cos oops, 4, right? Because it's n theta, 4 theta on cos power of 4 theta equals 0. Then I solve this, right? Cos 4 goes away, right? So that essentially disappears. The 2 also disappears. And I have cos 4 theta equal to 0, right? Now, I need four answers, right? Because it's 4 theta. So therefore, theta equals 2. Now, just remember, because it's arguments, right? Your final answer has to be between zero, uh, negative pi and pi. So when you do this, right? Just be, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So normally, my answer is, uh, zero, so what's that? Uh, zero, pi and two, and three pi and two. Now, because I need four answers, right? I need to add two pi to this. So I'm going to be really smart about this. I'm going to just put it in the middle, right? I'm going to add in minus two pi. So that when I do this divide by, oops, sorry, four pi, when I divide the four over, I still have an ID. Um, I want to see which one is within the domain that I want, right? So. So for each side here, so plus 2 pi, minus 2 pi, right? So, oh, sorry, that should be on 2. For a plus 2 pi, that is like plus and 4 pi, so that's 5 pi on 2, and plus 7 pi on 2. Now, I know that when I divide by 4, um, hmm, one second, when I divide by 4, these guys will be right as well, but I think, let's see, is that right? Four, four pi, five, yeah, divide by four. These guys will be right as well. But I only need four, right? I don't need, because I, I, I suspect that they sort of repeat themselves. So if I minus, it's just a cleaner solution on this side, three pi and two. And so theoretically, I can use these four, right? Because when I divide by four, I think they're still within the, uh, still within the domain that I want, but these ones here, 
it's just the neatest solution because it's like plus minus, right? So what I'm going to do, just exclude these two, take these ones, right? Yeah, four. Because yeah, I only need four solutions because it's four, four theta. But theta equals to plus minus then pi on eight and plus minus then three pi on eight. Is that okay? Yeah, I only need four solutions. Get rid of the other two. Um, now, once you get theta, now just referring back to the blue part that says is imaginary, since um, z equals to i tan theta, you go therefore z equals to i uh, or oh, plus plus minus yeah, i tan pi on eight and plus minus i tan three pi on eight. Pretty straightforward. So guys, very um common question these days, right? This one here, but it's normally towards the back. So in a four unit paper, normally if there's a roots of unity question, they won't have this. But if they have this, there's no roots of unity. So it's sort of considered in the same bracket as a roots of unity question, which is considered, considered to be like complex numbers two and generally worth like, in this case, four marks. Sometimes I've seen it as five. I've even, even seen it as six marks. Can be more intensive. Some of the questions I've seen, they tweak this slightly to make a cut. Very common as well. But guys, that's how you approach it. Part one, we have an identity that helps us and prove that one plus ten, uh, one plus i ten to power n, one minus i ten power n gets us to an identity with cos, and then we use it with a strategic substitution where you let z equal to i ten, right? And then there, thereafter, you're an easy street solving a really straightforward um, trig equation. Once you find theta, in this case, to be plus minus root of uh, pi on eight and plus minus three pi on eight, solve it back in and you're done, guys. Hopefully that was okay. And um, once again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. Live there. See you guys later.